Yo, what's going on guys? This is day 8, I think, technically later, but day 8 for you guys of Animal Crossing Let's Play by yours truly, PPN. And we got our new visitor, Ozian, and uh, let's greet him. And t today, for the rest of the episode, I think we're going to try to get Max out on our uh, village account to get the KK Slider um, concert. I think that's how you get it, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I'll talk to Nook in a bit when Tommy stopped talking and be talking about how much money I've made. And look at that, all my glorious fruit has come back. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be definitely um, getting a lot of fruits today. And what's up little chicken good boy? There's another reaction I can teach you if you've got time. One time I heard a tragic story and felt terrible. Now that I'm looking about it, I'm getting sad all over. It caused, in case you missed it, that was a sadness reaction. It comes in handy when you're down. But I swear down that my reactions are like full up. Oh dude, they're, they're doing it. Wait, let me join in. Hey, they all, they all greeted me. All right, let's see what Tom Nock wants from me today. What's up, boss? Any, anything going today? What's happening today? Uh, hello, hello. Oh, enough. Guess it's nothing new, just just the same old uh, yeah, last project. You need to get I think you need to get ten villagers. So we'll get ten villagers. We're almost there. We're on seven, I think. Uh, so we'll put down two more plots and then we'll we'll hunt for those guys. Hopefully there's some guy in the camp so we can hunt for them there as well. And let's check what's in the recycling box because there's always goodies in here. Cardboard boxes, cardboard boxes. L big massive trees. Okay, okay. And cardboard boxes nothing else today so uh i guess we'll just do our daily routine maybe we can make some money here today with the fruits of course i won't make too much money i'll just make enough for um uh, right now and i also got these exotic fishes from um the southern hemisphere and it looks like my turnips have spoiled because why did my turnips spoil it hasn't been seven days Nani? Really? I just bought them last night, but I bought them in the southern hemisphere though, because um, yeah. So maybe they died on the way on on the way home. Wow, oh, that's really sad. Um, but you can get some good use out of it. I'm gonna put it on the floor for a bit, right? And maybe we can get some ants going. Um, maybe we can get some ants spawning on them. It's pretty sad, but. Let's see if we can spawn some ants or cockroaches that we might not have yet. Um, yeah, we've got some cool fishes and, and other stuff. So let's turn them in, do our dailies, and see how much, uh, see where to put our next two plots. One thing that you guys can do to make extra profit from these trees is also sell off the fruits that come from your own country or island uh, in a different island. So you get 400 more extra bells. I don't know if you'll find that worth it or not. Uh, or if you want it to be quick, you can just sell them all in the same, in your own island. But of course you will get 400 less. Yo, why are you camping around my house, man? Are you stalking me? Are you looking through the window? What's the latest, boy? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, interesting. Um, anyway. Blavas didn't take my bluegill, which is really sad. So, whoa, there we go. There we go. Oh, no. Oh no. I need some branches quickly. For a net. Is that five? Two. Three. Four. There's five. Wow, there's a lot of insects there. It's kind of creeping me out. Oof. Hopefully, um, it doesn't eat it, eat up all the turnips before I get around to it. It's got flies around too. That's kind of nasty, dude. Uh, I'm gonna use a few bit of uh, bit of duration from. Wow, this guy's really interested in the lamppost. Oh, what the? That's not fair. Caught an ant finally. Tell me where the queen is. 
Uh, we'll come back to it. I'm sure there'll be more spawning after I go to Blathers. I'll come back to upgrade my axe too. I mean, my, my net. Unfortunately, that fly did juke me, which was pretty sad, but... Oh well. Maybe I already caught a blue gill. That's why this guy does want to sec it. That'll be kind of unfortunate if that, that is the case, though. Please accept my blue gill. I don't want it. Okay, he, he does already have it, so I can sell it. Confirmed. Time to visit my new neighbor, Ozzy. Hope he likes his new home over here. Pretty awesome home, I do have to say so myself. Wow, he looks like he's gonna enclose himself in like a mental asylum. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm glad. There's like a blue version of you over there. You have loads of, you can do lots of friends. Like, you can make friends and love and whatever you want to do. But yeah, have fun here, man. Thanks for coming. Lol, he doesn't know he's just getting like extorted by me to get a better island. Lol. Alright, I finished all my daily chores and now to do my favorite ch chore of the day. Looking at what the daily sales are. Hell yeah, boys. Let's see what you guys got in the evil sister store. I'm going to talk to the sewing lady at the back again too. We are welcome, welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Oh, the pajamas are still here. Let's talk to her. Let's see if she's... Uh... Could you talk to the other head job, please? Could you help this customer, please? Oh, hey, sorry about that. When Sable's really focused, she gets a little, you know, prickly. Yo, she she just wants to sew, man. Yo, why, why did my girlfriend tell me to talk to that lady every day? She just wants to sew, dude. Whoa, there's a detective cap. I want one. Is that a detective cap, man? Man, I know I needed to get 20,000 to get two more plots in my village, but I think this was really important. And also this jacket's not... Wait, is that a cool jacket? Nah, I'm gonna try it on first. I like the nose too. Oh, and these slippers, dude. These Asian dad slippers. Yes. Yes, I like Asian dad slippers. I need some more shoes because I'm always barefooted. And fake nose is always a great purchase. Alright, let's see what's in the main store, in the wardrobe, at the back. Oh, so it is the, like, the Japanese after-school jacket. They're pretty cool, man. They're pretty cool. Uh, what color do I want it in? I think I want it in just the classic black. Oh, there's a tail coat too. No way. i got to buy a lot. And a Komoro. No, a Sushi Chef. And the K-drama look. Oh my god. I gotta buy a lot of things today, boys. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, and sweatpants. We always need sweatpants. It's much... It's very good. It's very, very good. Um, to have sweatpants is for sleep. Whoa, and a bib. I want a p pink one, I guess. Uh, what's this? Neon leggings. Okay. And uh, purple socks. What else is there? What else is there? Nothing else, but I need to buy a lot of things, so uh, I'll be back when I bought all of my nice, nice material, nice, nice things that I need to buy. Um, yeah, I do look kind of ridiculous right now, but bear with me, boys. Bear with me. Yeah, and I'm officially done. I've got 1,000 bells left. Mm. This is a bad addiction to have, boys. This is a bad addiction to have. Let's see if we can make it back in the Nook's Cranny, but there's also a ring. I think you need like four of these though. Which is kind of unfortunate because... Oh damn, that costs a lot. I do want to get one. I want I want it because it looks like you have to get all four pieces of Exodia. I mean, it could be nine pieces depending on how they do it. Uh, what's the turnip prices today? I've got some bad turnips. Oh, it's Sunday for us. So that's so weird because I went to... So basically I traveled back in time because I went to uh, a friend's place which who she lives in uh, Singapore. So she's actually ahead. So when you come back with turnips, they all die, which is really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. Anyway, let's sell all the stuff that we got f today. Just to see if we can make it back. And we got probably like 6,000 back. 
7,000. Not too bad of a guess, but it's not enough. But we have enough to buy that corner. Not the foosball table, though. But maybe we can... S Let's see how much the foosball table cost. It's probably cost a lot. S stop doing that. Let's see, let's see. 2,000 bells? Hell yeah, I'll buy it. Damn, I kind of want the bed too, yo. The bed's kind of cool, but it doesn't match my aesthetic. Uh, I do want this clock though, so I'll get this clock and I'll come back for the neutral corner. The neutral corner is mine, it's mine. I just, what I got to quickly get the money was just to pick up some fruit, sell them off real quick. It, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of money boys. So, it's actually so much money that I'm actually thinking of uh, just taking the players, storing them until I can get into someone else's country or island and actually just selling it there because it's just so... It just, it's worth so much more. It's worth so much more. It's too good. So yeah, that's, that's my plan I think for these peaches. Yo, sup Nook, I just finished storing up some stuff. Give me, give me some stuff to do, man. I need, I need to put some, I need to put some homes down. I can't believe I'm buying 10,000 pounds already, though. Like, I'm using 10,000 bells for, um, for making your island more profitable. That's kind of fucked up. But, you know, I kind of enjoy it. Getting export, extorted with my knowledge. It's kind of, it's kind of soothing. Yeah. Let's get both. Let's get both the plots out. We just need two more. I don't really know where to put this just yet. Um, what we can do to quickly grab the ten thousand is just to quickly get to my bank and just find ten thousand there. And let's go to RNG Island after this to see what kind of things we'll be seeing. I mean, what kind of villages will come? Will be our first set of villages in our island? That'd be so cool to find out. Yo, Loki, the daily store, the bonjour teacher is really cool. Look at this, look look at this, dude. Bonjour, dude, I, I gotta buy this. I, I definitely have to buy that. That, that, that's too glorious. I don't like the shower, but the bonjour is hella cool, man. And I do want to get more of these, but I need to save up for uh, my big house for now, so that's really, really unfortunate. Whoa, these aren't for sale, nani? Dude, you can actually buy like whole pieces of of uh, fossils. I think these are the ones that you've collected, but they're not for sale just yet, uh, which is unfortunate. But these are really cool. I didn't know you can get. I didn't know they they were actually split up into sections. So there's a lot you can actually buy here. Interesting, interesting. And a lot of wallpaper or oh, laboratory wallpaper. That's my stuff. That's some of my stuff, yo. Um, interesting. Um, I, I'm guessing you'll get this later when you complete the uh, museum uh, because uh, you don't want to be grinding out fossils again to be able to uh, get uh, the fossils to display for yourself. Oh, I guess this is all the things like that you found or crafted yourself or bought. You can just uh, order more of it. So we should be able to, we should be able to order a dining chair. Which is really awesome. And they don't cost, um, they cost the same. So they don't cost more, they just cost the same. Which is really awesome to have actually. Unfortunately there's some rare items that you can't actually um, buy just yet. But we'll get to it, we'll get to it. So, like for example this which was gifted to me. Uh, I didn't buy it. So technically you, sh you guys should be buying um, everything that you see in the Nook store because uh, you can just get quick quick access to it again. Cool. I don't know what the hype is about the customizable phone cases, but everyone's got one. I don't think it's worth it for me. I I rather just I don't really I don't I'm not a guy that decorates or have a phone cool phone case. I just have like a clear phone case because I'm just you know you know I just want a phone. I don't want to show everyone my personality I mean some people can but you know that's that's not me man that's not me that's not me. okay it looks like we're not allowed to buy two housing kicks 
because it'll confuse the hell out of uh, Tom Nook. So we have to place this uh, housing kit first before we can get to these guys. And that's really nice of him to be sweeping the town plaza for Tom Nook as well. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Um, so what I could do with this one is maybe put it on the bottom right because there's no housing there. I think that would look kind of cool over there. Uh, and also I can put it right next to the waterfall, this household as well. Oh, that could be my house after all. I mean, my house needs to have some kind of cool dynamic entry, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we could do with the housing, but we, ju we should just put two down anywhere basically. So we have housing. Um, we could also put it on the main island, bottom left. And there's a lot of choices we can make. It's going to be difficult to, to figure out where to put everything. I'm going to take a run around, get to grab some fruit on the way and make some money. Because we're going to have 80 by the end of this. Whoa, lucky. We just found 10,000 bells from our present. Easy money, easy game. Alright, I think I found the perfect nook and cranny right in this spot where it only gets rid of one tree that wasn't even a fruit tree so I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked about that one uh, it didn't even get rid of a fruit tree so I, I'm really 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 happy about that one and it's quite close to the uh, little river over there uh, but I think I'll be changing a lot of the housing positions in the late game anyway because I want to do a lot of lot of crazy things with that town gotta you know gotta Gotta make my animation degree uh, worth the while, right? Gotta be a little bit creative my town instead of the usual, um, you know, doing whatever I want to do with my town. Gotta make it a little bit more creative, so, um, to justify my degree and justify my creativity powers, which are trash, but we don't get into that. The locations I was thinking of for a house is maybe up here. But I don't have a housing kit, so it's kind of redundant. Damn it, I need to go back down. Look at Isabel sleeping and slacking off at the bot right side there. And Nook's just working out of his mind 24-7 here. He does work quite hard, man. He's here 24-7, always awake, man. Let's talk about infrastructure. I just got 10,000 really luckily from a present, which I'm really impressed about. Uh, sell me some land, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give me that little... Uh, site that I can put down and uh, yeah we're ready to go and he just confirmed that it was the last plot so uh, 10 villagers is confirmed uh, as as much like the maximum amount of villagers that you can have in an island and you can't even get another option to do it which is awesome now the question is to where should I put the last villager? On that river top or not on that river top? That is the question. So without the, uh, the terrain editor right now, it's really hard to squeeze a house in between these uh, little ledges. So uh, the, the most optimal spot for the houses are here. But it's next to this cliff, which will be kind of sad for this guy because he'll look out the window and it's a bloody cliff, right? So it's like kind of saddening, right? Um, yeah, I don't, but I don't think there's another free spot for me to put him in. Let's see my map quickly again. Yeah, that, this, this top, this top right area is like a little bit too cramped for any housing, which is really unfortunate. And I guess I can just make it into like a kind of amusement forest or something like that uh, in the future. But yeah, it's, it's too small without the terrain editor, so I can't really do much with it. And uh, I like to keep my villagers a little bit spaced out. Um, yeah, that, that's what I'm hoping to get out of uh, that, for sure. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, I made up my decision. It's definitely going to be next to the waterfall, just for now. I might change it later, but, you know, just for now. We need. I, I spent like 10 minutes deciding. <laughs> But I think this is like the best location for it, as you can see. Now we have, um, uh, I need to get away from this area so we get to see all the Mimni map uh, indications. So now as you can see, all of the housing is to the left side of the island, which is really nice. And then we have a few houses here on to the right side with a bit of entertainment. So, and we have a little nice corner at the top right for 
any decoration needs that we have for now. So this is roughly what uh, I would uh, like would look good for my island. I think I'm trying to gauge what it would look like for now. Uh, we're trying to avoid as many uh, changes as possible for, especially on the big islands. Uh, yeah, so that that's roughly what I want it to look like. Let's see if there's ants and flies on uh, our thing. Uh, there's no flies just yet, so we'll give it a few more hours. But for now, let's go on our island trip and recruit some new villagers around. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just staring at the the turnip to see if there's flies. I need a fly. I missed a fly because it was on the pole, and that pole was making making the fly really hard to capture. I just talked to Nook and he's got nothing else for me to do. He said talk to Isabel. Isabel's probably gonna tell me um, to talk to Nook. So let's see. I think we just have to wait. I think we just have to wait for... Oh, two stars. Easy. Easy. Okay, okay. Give me some... It's like when a snow person is built just right. Sure, it's a good thing to be built be well made and to feel the love but I don't know that a snow person would get the proper attention here. That's my take anyway. What does that mean? Well there you have it. According to recent feedback the general sentiment is that this island lacks appealing scenery. Well I think there is only one way to respond to this information. Decorate the entire island head to toe or stream to sea. This island is not small which means it will take plenty of furniture such and such to dress it up to the nines. Now variety is preferable, but I hear you can use Nook Cranny to buy something you've bought before. No matter how you choose to decorate this island with your taste, I have no idea. No doubt it will look good. I would like to mention I came across a number of reports that mentions an overabundance of trees on our island. Apparently there has been a folk incident of folks getting lost in the woods and fearing for the worst, like missing their favorite TV program. Now I love trees as much as you do, but if our residents feel the island is now too rural, you need to listen to them. And there you have it. Just let me know next time you'd like to hear feedback. <laughs> it actually registers there's actually an overabundance of tree. I mean, I think it's nice, man. I think it's delicious. Can't believe it actually. They actually a cause for concern. The overabundance. Oh, this guy wants to leave. Yo, are you okay, man? Drag off, don't leave. No, don't leave. No, don't go. Yeah, I'll be lonely. Thank you, drag off. Thank you, drag off. So. If your villagers want to leave, they have uh, a speech bubble in and you have to give them permission to leave anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I, I really like Dragoff, so I, I want him to stay around for a little bit longer until I get the next uh, two villagers in because I want to have a picture with, like, you know, all the first 10 villagers. I think that would be really sick and I don't want any of them to leave just yet. <laughs> so I don't have to recruit anymore. So let's go find... Um, our villager, oh crap, that's a lot of, I think it's, it should be fine, I think, it means that we don't have to stay too long, oh wait, actually, no, that's bad, if we get like a rare island where we can get a lot of fish or uh, a lot of tarantulas, then having this will be a problem, however, I don't know if tarantula spawns even at 6 o'clock though, because it's currently 6 o'clock for me, 6 p.m., so yesterday we started making our tarantula island at 6 and we waited for it to hit 7 and it still didn't spawn, it was still spawning butterflies. I don't know if that was because of the resident or villager that was currently in the deserted island or not, but I want to find out so I'm going to go at this time because usually I have, I, um, I'm going to go to the island at this time and usually have dinner very soon so, uh, well I want to make dinner so, um, We'll, we'll check back at 7 o'clock after we made it into a tarantula island and see if it's, uh, um, you know, spawns butterflies or not. Or if it's because of the villagers that it spawns butterfly. Because I, I know for certain that island can spawn tarantulas because because um, I did it previously. So the only possible reason, two possible reasons, is I started making it at 
a little bit early and the other reason is there was a villager on that island waiting for me to be recruited so that's why looks like blavers doesn't want to take my crappy fossils because he's already got all of them that's unfortunate i have to sell them um so we'll quickly sell the pack our bags and we'll go to our adventure now the turner has no friends with to it on it which is really sad i wonder if you can catch like a uh, Queen Ant. That will be kind of creepy actually. I'll be really scared if I can catch a Queen Ant. Alright, for the first RNG Island today, we got three tier island with uh, probably five rock spawn at the top, I'm guessing here. And a villager. And it's a pink rhinoceros. Awesome, awesome. So, we, we can try out making the tarantula island here or we can just go to the next one and hope for a better high ground i mean a better flat island for the best possible chance of spawning tarantulas you can spawn on this island but it can be a little bit difficult though yo pink rhinoceros thing come to my island i'm from rice yeah it's cool right yeah come over to my island why is she wearing a sailor outfit it's Kind of weird, but still, come to my island. You're, you're the first one that I saw. I'm hoping to get a panda for the last one, guys, though. Get away to my island. Yeah, I just need you for uh, KK to come in. Yeah, that'll be really nice. And also enjoy the fruit trees. It's apparently overabundance, but oh well. Show me where the cool parties are. I'll have you around to introduce me to everyone and show me where the cool parties are and stuff. So many parties. Alright, you're on. Well, I totally didn't expect to make any huge decisions all the way here, but that's fate for you. Guess I've got some paperwork to do. Who do I need to talk to? Tom Nook. He's the boy that knows everything about how to move in. Go talk to him. Don't talk to me. I'm just here for parties. Alright, with that social interaction gone, time to interact with weeds again. Because... Well, for the achievement, right? Holy crap, boy. That looks like a humongous fish. Hopefully it's not just a sea bass, but it looks like it's huge. It's, it looks like it's a size 6, but we'll see. I started recording because I got really excited about this fish already. Before me even, like, I got... Oh my god, it's dodging my dodging my fishing net like a, like a boss. Oh my god, it was the first one, so it must be a really important fish. Let's see if we get... Oh my Jesus! I knew it, I felt it. It was gonna be one of these bad boys, wasn't it? I knew it. Finally, my first oarfish, fish, guys. Epic. Whoa, that was my second ref catch of the day. That's pretty awesome, that's pretty awesome, I have to say. Yo, there's another big boy here. That That's, that's another size 6, I think. It looks massive. It's probably a sea bass though, because it's not first catch, it's second catch. But we'll see. Yeah, it's a sea bass. Kind of felt it. I'm donating my oar fish in a little bag. Don't think that the true size of it, but you know, I'm, I'm. That's cool, I guess. All right, onwards to the second island. All right, let's see what island we got. It looks like it's the regular island. With the waterfall and stuff. Uh, and we don't have a villager this time. Whoa. Maybe they stopped spawning at a certain time. That's really bad for us actually. That's really really bad for us. I don't see a villager. Uh, that's really unfortunate. I think they actually might stop spawning at like 7 o'clock maybe. That's really annoying. Um, what to do now? There's, not there's nothing for me to do. Other than just wait for, wait for someone to appear in front of me. That's really annoying. That's really, really annoying. Uh, but I guess we can just pick up some weed and stuff and sell it to Nook. Uh, me, we could also try, um, try another island. But uh, I'm not really feeling it right now. I want to play. Yeah, I'm not really feeling it. I want to just play at my own pace, really. So, yeah. Maybe I'll just... Yeah. 
I'll think about it. Oh my god, is that a sturgeon that I see? I think that's a sturgeon, yo. I think that is a sturgeon. So what I basically did to get the sturgeon was to get rid of some things and try to get a force the spawn onto this area. And I think, I have a feeling this might be a sturgeon, yo. I have a feeling. Actually, it's not at the river head, so it might not be, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, okay. We have to be extra careful with this. This might be our first sturgeon spawn. Okay, okay. We don't want to scare it off. We don't want to scare it off, boys. Okay, okay. It doesn't like that. It doesn't like that action. Uh, maybe we can try this. It's coming in. It's coming in. It's really hard to get the sweet spot for... The oh my god. Okay, okay. Let's see if he likes it here. He's no. Oh no. This one's going to be really hard because uh, the other fish might take the bait. Oh, oh. It's coming back. It's coming back. Good, 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 good. Okay, okay. Let's see if he wants it. Does he see it? Oh no, he, he doesn't want anything put to do with that. Okay, this is going to be difficult. This will take all my fishing skills that I learned in the mountains to be able to fish this one up for sure. Okay, okay, that was way too far, man. Okay, maybe this one? Oh, that was... It's getting closer. Oh, don't, don't scare it off, boys. Don't scare it off. Oh, we got it. <gasps> no way. I got that. I got that. Okay, we're going to try it again. We're going to try it again. All right, we forced another sturgeon spawn. I think this looks pretty big, so I think it's a sturgeon spawn. But, okay, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, thank God he turned around. This looks like a big boy, and it's on the Ralph, on the on the river head. <gasps> no, it's too quick, man! It's too quick. Okay, we can do another spawn, but I'll show you guys how I'm trying. I'm spawning this guy out in about five minutes or so. I'm basically running all around this area to basically stop uh, to despawn these guys. You can despawn all the fishes, and th this is basically the same technique as uh, the tarantula farming. But you just basically do just run around. Uh, you you despawn these fishes. Uh, for a higher chance of a sturgeon spawn uh, over here, but instead of cutting down trees and flowers and stuff, you you just run around to despawn the stuff in this area so it spawns in a different location. And you can also use your rod for this as well. So you can just get a fish's attention. If any if any of these fish they're so close to each other, so if any of these fishes decide to bite, we can just uh, get them off like that, and we can get a spawn over here. We're trying to push all the spawns onto this river head because that's where the sturgeon spawns. Areas that are close by, you can just despawn them by pole vaulting. Sometimes, sometimes these guys are not scared of anything. Yeah, we just basically just rinse and repeating, despawning these guys, and uh, hoping for pushing all the spawns onto the river head. Okay, we pushed another spawn. Let's see if the sturgeon will get the better of me this time around. How I know it's a sturgeon? Because it's massive, boys. Look how big that boy is. It's actually huge. I'm scared that would despawn it. It takes a while. Okay, doesn't seem interested. Let's try this position. Nope. Has to be like this kind of position, I think. Still nope. I 
nothing recorded, boys. Hell yeah. Easy sturgeon spawns. So if you guys are having troubles getting a sturgeon, this is how you can easily spawn it on any island if it has a river river mouth like this. It spawns on only river mouse and that was my first sturgeon and I really needed it. How I knew it was how I knew sturgeons were spawning on a riverbank is because um Well Everyone knows where sturgeon spawns at now. <laughs> it's not too rare, but I still just didn't have it uh, didn't have a chance to get one yet. But anyway, with the sturgeon, I think we are now off. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you do enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, uh, like and subscribe, and peace out guys. Remember to keep AFK farming.